Did you know that right now, there are potentially thousands of objects from other star systems passing through our own, and we've only ever spotted a handful? What if I told you that one of them just appeared near Mars, right in front of NASA's cameras, and it doesn't look like anything natural? Stick around, because what happened next, and the data that was quietly released, will absolutely blow your mind. Right now, at this very moment, something truly extraordinary has happened. After weeks of silence, after endless speculation and mounting curiosity, NASA and the European Space Agency have finally released the official, long-awaited, high-resolution images from the Mars flyby of 3i Atlas. And what they've revealed has left scientists across the world in a state of absolute disbelief. People are captivated by the mystery of 3i Atlas, and the universe knows we are watching. This isn't just a space rock, this is a moment that could redefine our place in the cosmos. Captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's powerful high-rise camera during its closest pass earlier this month, these images are unlike anything we have ever seen before in the history of astronomy. They don't just show another comet drifting aimlessly through space, they show something that challenges the very boundaries of what we thought was even possible. It's one thing to find an interstellar object, it's another thing entirely to find one that, well, it seems to defy nature. Because these photographs, they don't behave like nature. The moment the data was quietly uploaded, get this, no press release, no big announcement, just a silent entry into NASA's database. Researchers and amateur astronomers rushed to download the files. This is a key part of the mystery, the silence. Why wouldn't this be front page news? Within minutes, the global scientific community was lit up with a single unified question. What exactly are we looking at? As the first analysts began to process the images, the realization hit like a cosmic thunderclap. 3i Atlas, an object we all thought was just another interstellar wanderer, does not resemble any known natural formation. What we're seeing might not be a coincidence of physics or chance. It might be something constructed, something with purpose, you know. And if that's true, then this moment, this quiet release of a few digital images from Mars could mark the beginning of a whole new chapter in human history. When scientists first examined the images in detail, what they found defied every single expectation. 3i Atlas doesn't look chaotic or random like a comet battered by eons of collisions. Think about a typical asteroid. It's lumpy, pitted, irregular. This was the opposite. Instead, it appears geometrically perfect, with smooth surfaces and a deliberate symmetry that nature simply does not produce. Where we should see rough, jagged terrain, we see seamless plains. Where we expect random cracks and craters, we see alignment, proportion, and balance. As though the object were designed, not formed, right? Extending from the main body are three distinct protrusions, each one stretching roughly two kilometers in length. And here's where it becomes truly haunting. These extensions emerge at precise 120 degree intervals, forming a flawless tripod-like configuration around the central core. This is the smoking gun for many researchers. Not 119 degrees, not 122, exactly 120. No asteroid, no comet, no natural process known to astrophysics can create this kind of mathematical order by accident. You know, Dr. Sarah Chen from the Kavli Institute at MIT described it best. This isn't random geology, she said. This is architecture. Her team's spectroscopic overlays confirmed that the protrusions are not composed of the same material as the main structure. This is crucial. It's not one solid piece of rock. The core appears carbon-rich, dark and matte, absorbing light like stone. But those extensions, they gleam. They reflect sunlight with an almost metallic brilliance, bouncing back more than 90% of the radiation that hits them. You know, think about that. Something in deep space, billions of years old, reflecting light like polished steel. If those panels, if that's what they are, are aligned intentionally toward the sun, then we might not be looking at a comet at all. We might be staring at 
a mechanism, a design system built for a purpose we have yet to comprehend. And in that realization, the line between science and science fiction begins to blur. When the first spectroscopic overlays were applied to the new images of 3i Atlas, the data didn't just surprise researchers, it unsettled them. The readings revealed two entirely different materials coexisting within the same object. The central mass behaves as expected for an interstellar rock, dense, carbon-rich, dark as obsidian, absorbing nearly all incoming light. But the three outward extensions, they behave as if forged from something engineered. Their reflectivity reached levels seen only in synthetic metals or advanced composites we might create in a lab. Dr. Chen's analysis went further. At wavelengths below 200 nanometers, the surface remained optically smooth, something even the most refined crystals on Earth failed to achieve naturally. In her report, she wrote that this pattern of reflection is consistent with manufactured surfaces rather than any natural mineral formation. That phrase, manufactured surfaces, echo through every physics department and astronomy lab across the planet because it forced an unthinkable question. If this object wasn't shaped by nature, who shaped it? Attempts to find natural explanations quickly fell apart. Could solar heating have carved these lines, creating some exotic form of sublimation pattern? Sublimation is when ice turns directly into gas, which can carve features on comets. But the object's temperature, hovering near minus 150 degrees Celsius, is far too cold for ice to melt, let alone sculpt itself into precision geometry. Could impacts have struck it in such a perfect rhythm, three times, at exactly 120 degree intervals? The math says no. The odds are less than one in 10 million. No. And so the mystery deepened. The reflective surfaces, the symmetry, the impossible alignment, all of it pointed toward an origin beyond random physics. Even more startling, European Space Agency images taken 18 hours later confirmed that these structures were real, three-dimensional, and unchanged from every angle. No tricks of perspective, no camera artifacts, just something massive, deliberate, and impossibly precise silently drifting through our solar system. It was at that moment that the question shifted from what it is to why it's here. You know, for three long weeks after the Mars flyby, NASA and the European Space Agency said nothing. No press releases, no briefings, not even a single public comment. The data from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter sat quietly in NASA's archives, encrypted, unanalyzed, unexplained. And while the official reason cited was the government shutdown that began just two days before the encounter, that silence felt strategic, calculated. This is where the story gets really troubling. The high-rise camera is fully automated. It captured the images of 3i Atlas on schedule, transmitted them through the deep space network, and stored them in the system the same day. Shut down or not, the data was there. So why did it take until late October for the world to see it? Why did one of the most significant astronomical events of the decade unfold without so much as a headline? Off the record, several researchers within NASA's Planetary Science Division began to talk quietly, cautiously. They described intense internal debates, meetings about how to frame the data, how to release it, how to contain the public reaction. One scientist confided, we spent three weeks trying to find a natural explanation and we failed. This pattern wasn't new. When Oumuamua accelerated mysteriously away from the sun back in 2018, data was withheld for months. When Borisov entered our system a year later, several trajectory reports were quietly delayed. These were the first two confirmed interstellar visitors, and both behaved strangely. Each time an interstellar visitor behaved unpredictably, information slowed. Details became carefully managed. Maybe it's caution, a way to prevent chaos, to avoid misinterpretation. Or maybe it's something deeper, a quiet recognition within the institutions of science that we are standing on the edge of a discovery so vast, so transformative, that humanity itself may not be ready to face it. Because if 3i Atlas is what the data implies, 
then it is not just another traveller passing through the solar system. It is a message silent, deliberate, and unimaginably ancient. And someone, somewhere, decided the world needed a few extra weeks before reading it. A warning echoes through the silence. If this object is artificial, then it doesn't just confirm alien intelligence. It confirms awareness. It suggests that they know we exist, that they have sent something into our solar system deliberately, and that it might have been here before, watching. No. But perhaps the greatest shock of all is not the fear, it's the humility. Because for centuries, humanity has gazed at the cosmos, believing itself to be unique, alone among the stars. And now, in the cold black between Mars and the Sun, a quiet contradiction spins symmetrical, reflective, deliberate whispering that we were never alone to begin with. In five days, three eye atlas will reach perihelion, the point of its closest encounter with the Sunday. This is the ultimate test. When that happens, every major observatory on Earth will be watching. If the object behaves like a comet, it may fragment under the immense solar stress, but if it doesn't, if it survives, or worse, if it changes course or executes a maneuver, then everything we know about life, intelligence, and our cosmic purpose will have to be rewritten, right? And that's when the real story begins. The countdown has begun on as 3-1 Atlas drifts closer to the blazing corona of the Sunday every observatory on Earth is locked on target. From the Webb Telescope positioned beyond the Moon to the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or SOHO, orbiting at the Lagrange point, to hundreds of ground-based scopes from Chile to Hawaii, all are tuned to one goal, to see what happens when this object meets solar fire. You know, at this distance, the heat, the heat is unforgiving. Temperatures soar past 1,500 degrees Celsius, hot enough to vaporize rock and metal alike. Any ordinary comet would disintegrate, shedding gas and dust in a bright tail of ionized particles. It would be a spectacular but natural death. But scientists aren't expecting an ordinary reaction. They're watching for defiance, for stability, where there should be chaos. If 3i Atlas survives perihelion intact, it means its composition, or its design, is beyond anything found in nature. It would suggest materials capable of withstanding solar radiation at levels even our most advanced spacecraft cannot endure. Some physicists have already begun to whisper the unthinkable. Energy shielding, photonic resistance, or self-cooling systems. Concepts that belong to advanced engineering, not cosmic coincidence. And around the world, control rooms are quiet. Rows of screens flicker with real-time telemetry, trajectory data, brightness readings, spectral color shifts. The tension is unlike anything since the first Apollo landing, because in a matter of hours, the universe could either confirm our greatest hope or silence it completely. Meanwhile, the deep space network begins to detect faint anomalies, irregular radio fluctuations, not consistent with solar interference. They're not structured enough to call a signal, but they're not random either. Every blip, every pulse is logged and analyzed, just in case. No one dares say it aloud, but the thought hangs heavy in the air. No, what if it responds? If 3i Atlas changes trajectory after perihelion, even slightly, it won't just rewrite textbooks, it will shatter them, because a maneuver implies control, and control implies intention. You know, at that moment, humanity would have to face a reality it has imagined for millennia, that we are no longer the observers of the cosmos. We have become the observed. You know, the moment 3i Atlas crossed perihelion, every sensor in the solar observation network went wild. For a full 12 minutes, data streams from multiple instruments, Webb, SOHO, and the Parker Solar Probe, registered something that no one could immediately explain. A perfectly repeating energy fluctuation, rhythmic and deliberate, emerging from the object itself. This wasn't noise. This wasn't a solar flare. This was a pattern. Inside mission control, the atmosphere turned electric. One senior astrophysicist whispered, it's not a rock, it's a transmitter. 
Others refused to speak at all, just stared at the graphs on their screens, the pulsing rhythm of something that seemed impossibly aware. All right. Then, as suddenly as it began, the signal stopped. The object continued its trajectory, but the pulses vanished, leaving only a faint electromagnetic echo, like a voice fading into static after saying just enough to prove it was real. Right. Within hours, encrypted briefings were sent to research teams across the world. The data was confirmed, authenticated, and classified. The public feed showed nothing unusual, just a silent object gliding away from the Sunday. But the private channels told a different story. Humanity had just heard from the stars, and the stars had answered back. And yet, amid the excitement, one question burned through every lab, every sleepless mind staring at the data. I mean, was it sending a message or a warning? For 72 hours after the perihelion event, NASA, ESA, and the Square Kilometre Array Observatory worked around the clock to analyze the data. What began as a series of repeating pulses soon revealed a hidden structure buried deep within the waveform, something that couldn't be accidental. You know, when researchers isolated the secondary modulation, the signal decomposed into a mathematical lattice, a cascading sequence of prime numbers and geometric constants that, when visualized in three dimensions, formed a perfect tetrahedral matrix. This is the language of physics itself. Every frequency point aligned with exact ratios of pi and the golden ratio, numbers so fundamental to physics and life itself that no natural phenomenon could ever encode them this deliberately. You know, one of the analysts from the European Space Operations Center described it best. It's not language as we know it, he said. It's architecture. Information built from the bones of mathematics. You know, then came the breakthrough when the signal's geometry was mapped onto the known coordinates of the solar system. It aligned with the orbital positions of Mercury, Earth, and Mars precisely at the moments when 3i Atlas crossed their observational range. It was as if the signal was marking something, triangulating a point. And when the coordinates were extended further outward, they didn't point back to the object itself. You know, weeks passed, then months. No reply came from Epsilon Eridani. No pulse, no anomaly, no echo. But strange things began to happen closer to home. Deep space radars in the Southern Hemisphere detected faint reflective points trailing far behind Atlas's path. Fragments or something else? Small, cold and metallic, moving with precision. You know, at the same time, a series of low frequency anomalies began to ripple through the ionosphere, repeating at the same interval as the original pulse, 3.1 seconds. This wasn't just space noise. This was a heartbeat in our own atmosphere, matching the signal. Not strong enough to classify as a signal, but too consistent to ignore. Nope. Publicly, NASA denied any new data. The official story remained unchanged. 3i Atlas was a natural interstellar object that had broken apart near perihelion. And then one night, a transmission leaked. A fragment from a classified recording at the Deep Space Communications Complex in Canberra. Just three seconds of audio, a faint hum, followed by a tone that slowly shifted upward in pitch. It wasn't random, it wasn't noise. It was the same triangular pulse heard during perihelion, returning. You know, whether it was an echo or an answer, no one could say. But as that sound spread through encrypted forums and midnight radio channels across the world, one truth settled over humanity like a shadow. Whatever 3 I Atlas was, it wasn't gone. It was waiting. You know, and somewhere 12 light years away, something had heard us. The ultimate lesson here isn't just about whether we're alone. It's about humility. This entire event, real or hypothetical, forces us to realize that our understanding of the universe is just beginning. We are standing on the shore of a cosmic ocean, and what we just saw might be the first glimpse of the incredible, complex life swimming in the deep. What do you think? Was 3 I Atlas a natural wonder, or was it a message? Let me know your theory in the comments below. And if you want to keep exploring the biggest mysteries of the cosmos, 
make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next.